Welcome to Hello. Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today, again, we're playing 2600 games because there's so many coming out and we have to catch up. Ah. Uh, but we're still we're still on vacation. We're still not doing regular shows, but hey, Darcy's here because it's a Friday. So I thought <laughs> I would do a noon show so we can uh, have Darcy here. And, and uh, be able to play some games for our people in Europe who are usually in bed on the other times. Good like times. Two or three in the morning for them. So um, We're going to be playing four Atari 2600 games today. And they are Three Point Dash, which is a basketball game. Uh, Duet by Thomas Jentsch, who is in the chat. So if you have any questions about his game, he's here. Uh, Cosmic Combat Redux by Kiryu Jimbo. And Xanthium 2600 by Nathan Games. And we haven't played any of his games yet, but he has three. So we're going to get through them eventually. But this is the first one we're going to be playing. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Darcy Day. <laughs> it's Darcy Day. But first, we're going to thank our Twitch subscribers who are gently scrolling beside Darcy here. Uh, Alan the Fur, Arkham H, Armscar, Cordo, Atari, 800, XL Rules, Atari, 74, Atari, HB, Procock, Charles Donnybell, Charles Hitchcock, Charles Wynn, Chitla, La Trona, Lama, Cubanismo, Dana, VC, Daryl, 70, D, DJ, Justy, Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo, Cows, Dre, Defender, Gretem's Ground, Trooper, Roger, Rapper, 2600. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're, uh, subscribing? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'll try. But... Okay. Uh, ah, where was, uh, was Drifting Snow, Dr. Mukaz, Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ojo Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Aveda Croc, 2600, Gavelt for Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Koyan, is Mark Basing, Metal Atari, Nancy 69, Mike Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Zatow, Mr. Zarmuth, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fonson, Nathan Strom, Nostalgic 26, Pack RPG Coog, uh, R. Enchwitz, Raymond C, RC, RC70, Run to Ghost for Pencil VG, uh, Smitty B, Spicer S, Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Welsh, Manny Nay, Tiki Dan K, T Foes, Track MD, VVG, Double Down, and X Can X. And if you want to subscribe like Darcy's doing right now, just hit subscribe. And then close the app. And then close the and app then, so it shows up. And then start it again, and you can. <laughs> Is it going to work? Oh, he's got it down. Yeah. Yeah. You have to go through a little bit of rigmarole. Rig uh, and or Marole. And it is uh, free with Amazon Prime, which Darcy just subscribed with Amazon Prime. He's done it for 24 months. What a great guy. And and yes, it's Darcy is 15, not Atari is 15. Coincidental? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Darcy say, shares the same birthday as Atari. Um, uh, yeah. So thank you. And also... Somebody subscribed just before the show, Gamma Dev. Thank you so much. I don't think you were on the list, but you will be next show. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> and Darcy wasn't on the list either, but he'll be read right out next show as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we have <clears throat> some unboxing, some mail, but first we have some feedback. And it is actually in the form of pictures. Feet. Yeah, get that microphone away from the speaker. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Okay, let's blow this up. No, wrong way. <laughs> I made it. Okay, we'll go full screen. No, we won't go full screen. We will go like this. And this is from, who's it from? Teleprompter. I don't know if they're in the chat today. Well, maybe I do have to go full screen. I think I do. That's fine. There we go. And this is, he said, oh, Hi, James and Tanya. And Darcy. Uh, this is... <laughs> this it didn't is, say that. It, it didn't. But I'm <laughs> embellishing on it. This is Teleprompter on Twitch. Just wanted to share some shameless plug <clears throat> photos uh, for you from my Retroman cave. Feel free to use or post. Keep up the great work. And at, at first I'm like, Oh, okay, cool. Very awesome set up he's got his um ataris there uh 2600 and uh, 400 or 800 uh it looks like an uh it's a 800 because it has keys and atari uh 800 xl it's not 8-bit uh Doesn't yeah it's an 8-bit one that's oh, okay. that is i think the same exact one i have yeah yeah uh, 800 looks, xl looks... and some shelves back there game room and, and the uh, lighting on the shelves it very nice. looks real good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he said shameless plug photos, and I didn't really. I'm like, okay, cool. And oh, come on, 
Then I went to this one. It's like, okay, okay, cool. Then I went back and it's like, okay, he's got, uh, <laughs> he's got the show on the screen. And then I realized, oh my God, oh my God, the teddy bear is wearing a zero page shirt and there's a zero page pillow and there's a certain mouse wearing a shirt as well and another pillow. Uh, did you there... notice that the oh, oh wow that's go back. what did i notice no ice oh my god <laughs> is it no ice it's oh i think mickey no has ice, ice. No. i think they're just hidden by that nose oh they're white yeah this bear seems to be uh probably black eyes just well. wearing vr headset or something that's right and look at his that looks, setup that looks amazing. oh my god He's wow really into ataris multiple it looks like he has like every atari ever put out like that's a 400 and that's an 800 i that's a 600 i'm not up to speed on all of them is that a 1200 uh and then uh Those floppy drives uh yeah i've got some down there but, but they're I atari mean, floppy drives yeah atari floppy drives they're quite quite humongous <laughs> but are but, they as big as the commodore uh i would say they're some of them are comparable and even bigger like you look at that one right there's my mouse on the screen yeah that one right there that's massive i think but it's not as long one. uh like the i think that one was like it's very very deep <laughs> one yeah it's it was weapons a, a mighty weapon Anyways, uh there's a 5200 awesome. uh a sega master system maybe uh a jaguar uh six switch can't tell what that oh. is but it's a six or four is that a 2800 there or is that just a vader um yeah very into atari and a turntable um uh, let's see and it's also got a ton of handhelds here too hmm. pac-man and zaxxon which i already also have as well uh donkey kong jr looks like he's got exact duplicates of what i have uh except he's got a galaxian uh which i do need he's got a frogger there um and i think i had a bowling and i gave it away on a games night because i wasn't really into the bowling one really amazing game room i wish i had the room to uh set up something like this there's a good straight on shot of his oh and uh xegs uh with the keyboard not sure what that is i don't have it so i'm not sure i know it is a game system really amazing setup so thank you so much. So let's let's go back to his initial photos. And there's like he reconfigured his room for each of the photos cuz there they don't have the pillows. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And they've got joysticks and they've got the same joysticks as I do. <laughs> uh which is the Bratwurst joystick. So they have good taste. Uh, Mickey has good taste in joysticks. Hi, oh, yeah, you're amazing. starting to beg. Yeah, really nice game room. Thank you so much for uh, sending that over, Teleprompter. Really awesome. Uh, Atari turntable. Is it an Atari turntable? <laughs> literally, uh, BR Polka says, literally the heaviest bin we moved when moving house was one with the CBM floppy drive. So, <laughs> yeah, they're heavy, I guess. Oh, there's Teleprompter. Thanks. All North American 8-bits. Ah. Okay. So not a 2800. My son's idea with the bear and Mickey. Very good idea. Uh, okay, so I think I'll just leave the mail to another day because it's upstairs. And also, I didn't get a chance to pick up the mail from the mail from the post office because I think Tanya has my keys. So I'm housebound. She's instead. very controlling. Yeah, she. I, like... if only if I'm good, I get the keys, but only for one day a week. It's <laughs> no. I uh, We just came back from vacation. Um, she would lock you in, but she knows that just having the keys is enough to keep you here because you, you like your stuff too much and you don't want anyone to steal it. That's right. Protect. Protect it. Uh, okay, then let's get on with the games. The first one is Three Point Dash, and it is a basketball game. Usually I'm not really into sports games, but I think this is not really a simulation. It's more an arcade style of uh, game. It's by uh, Mirsad Asarajlik, Kiki PDPH, um, from April 11th, 2023. So brand new. So let's get this going. Meow. There you go. Let's switch it over. And... Uh, 
switch it over here. And I've noticed that it's still going out of sync sometimes with the audio. So I'm just going to reset every game so we don't go out of sync. Don't do that. Yes, it's okay. okay, so go to today. Uh, and this builds from April 11th. The size is 32K. Uh, they also made uh, the Final D and Stellar Drive, which we haven't played on the show. We're going to do version one first because there's two different versions. Make sure we're not blasting your ears out. There we go. I think standard is fine for me. Yeah, we'll do standard first, then we'll move up. So, objective of the three-point contest is to score as many points as possible by shooting three-pointers. Oh, no! The game ends when the player misses four consecutive attempts. The game has two difficulties, standard and hard. Uh, in standard, the hoop is uh, slightly wider. So this is a wider hoop. Good job. And on hard, the hoop is narrower. Uh, joystick moving left and right moves the basketball no! player left and right. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh, wait, oh I got, got it. it. Looks like you got one life left. Oh. Well, I thought you said it was four in a row. I think. F uh oh. Four in a row. Oh. Woo! Maybe it's changed. Because you did. No! Have... Okay. Game. Over. I mean, I should have known better. I should have known better, buddy. That's right. Should have known better. Turn up the volume a little bit. It's a little low. Um, and joystick left and right and the button, you can shoot the ball towards the hoop at an angle. No! Oh. So you've been doing straight on shots. Ooh. No! And I wanted to play this game because I don't, I... I'm trying to miss now. <laughs> on purpose. Well, you only got one more. I, I wanted to play this game because I thought the physics was really amazing. And the graphics. Like when it bounces off the hoop. Of course, Darcy's hitting it every time now. Let's see it bounce off the hoop. <laughs> On purpose. Okay. There you go. Really great. <laughs> Hi, Here. kitty. Unless you want me to do uh, it. Try... Oh. Should have went Can you imagine how much uh, easier it would be to, to run um, all of this if I wasn't so terrible at the games? <laughs> and then my, my, my play, my first play wasn't so short. Oh, no, no. It's all good. You get practice. Uh, Beer Pocock uh, says, nice how the ball reduces in size as well. Yeah, it's a great... Yeah, I think it has two sizes. The one when it's in your hand, and then it reduces uh -oh. about halfway through the shot. Yeah, it's a really nice feature. Oh. And it reduces nicely, too. So it gives a really good sense of uh, depth. So try hard. Try hard now. I was trying hard. <laughs> That is much My smaller. jokes are dumb. Oh, is the outfit a different color? Yep. Ah, nice. Oh! Oh! So it's not four in a row. It's uh oh four. It says consecutive, but I don't think that's true. Yeah, it's not true. It's not true. Lie. It may have been altered, or it was consecutive, but then it was changed. Because I mean, ah! if, if you're good enough, you're going to just keep going forever. Okay. My turn. Do you have to control the distance? I think it's just press the button. It always goes mm -hmm. to where the hoop. I'm going to do standard first. What are you doing up there, buddy? Oh, oh someone's touching your belly. Uh -oh. oh, it's where your head is. Hey, 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 hey. Kittens. So much violence. What did I do to deserve that? Ah, going to lose. Oh, and you take too long, you lose a, a life, oh. too. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it changed direction. Oh, you lucky cats, you. You lucky, lucky cats. Two bells and some treats. Oh, they're very excited. Let me switch over to the cat cam. Who fed the cats today? Dr. Moo Cows. Geez, okay, okay, reward them for bad behavior. See, that's not good. Oh, zero, zero to zero. Come on, Atari. Oh, nope, bring it. Oh, Sprite gets it in. Press that button. You should click, close the door so that Sprite doesn't escape. Or Atari doesn't escape. There you go. Hey, buddy, yeah. Because he'll take his treats out. Press it. 
Oh, two zero for Sprite. Hit it. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Come on. Three zero for Sprite. You're making me very sad. Oh, three one for for Sprite. Four one. Oh my god, he's inhaling them. He is chewing. Oh no. No. Oh, five one for Sprite. Come on, Tari. Oh, 5-2. Good, strong ring from Atari. 6-2 for Sprite. Come on, Atari. Chew it up. Come on. 6-3 for Sprite. Atari, you can catch up. 7-3 for Sprite. Oh, oh, no. Too soft. Oh, 8-3 for Sprite. Oh, come on. Oh, 7-4 or 8-4. 8 4 for Sprite. 9 4 for Sprite is now game point. I don't think right, you're going to catch it. up, but you do can it. still get some more treats. 9 5 for Sprite. And 10! Ding, 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 ding. Winner. And the loser gets a cons consolation prize. It does when I'm running it. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know how you do it. That's uh, all Tanya do. does give um, Atari a consolation prize as well. Because the loser literally gets less treats. So. Yep. Okay, let me try this again. Because Tanya's not a psycho. Yeah. Well, she's a psycho, but not in that way. <laughs> not, not in a cat torture. Way. <laughs> okay, so it kind of the edge is where it. Uh, that was close. Where the edge of the oh, does it get faster? Are you killing me now? Oh, damn it. Oh, no. The faster oh. thing is throwing me off. Oh, it gets much faster. Mm. Oh, not switch back. Okay. Well, a little late right now, but... Oh, it's hard now. Can you all take advantage of seeing 45. how good I am at dressing? <laughs> 45. Not bad. Game video small. <laughs> <laughs> well, I use more words when less words do. Uh, so tiny. Mm -mm. And work that way. If you can open the package, you can have as many treats as you can jam in your face. Are you talking about the cats <laughs> or us? Nope. Dr. Mukow says I didn't ring the bell for my treats. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your treats away. Is this the opposable thumb rule? You can have, them. You can have as many it's treats as you It's the law of the want. jungle. You can do anything you can. <laughs> anything that you're allowed to do, you will do. Mm. No, no. Not allowed. Oh, do. Anything you can, you can do. <laughs> if you stop yourself, it's just because you were unable to, True. to do the thing due to conscience or other people watching and not <laughs> wanting them to think you don't have a conscience. <laughs> Sorry, no. You don't want them to know you don't have a condom. That's right. Oh, the smaller hoop is much harder. Oh, God. Okay, let me do one more. Got 15. Did better on the hard one. First couple are, like, free. And then... Get hard. Ah, oh, God damn it. Oh, no! Two in a row. <laughs> Oh no, got fast and I didn't <laughs> anticipate it. 21, I'm fine with that. Okay, so let's go to the second version of it. And I'll read out what the difference is for that one. Wait, let me see if I can tell. Okay. <laughs> the font. Oh my God, cats. What the hell is happening up there? Oh, it's that... When you click standard, it says get ready, but then it fakes you out and it, it goes right back to the main screen. <laughs> three point dash version two. The objective three point dash. Oh, did you not see? Uh, no. Oh, what? Okay, maybe there's only hard. Or maybe we're only going to play version one today. Oh, what is happening? What's really happening? <laughs> you can't tell on your screens at home because I am so fast. It's just that I've topped the score. And it rolled around. I just back, did it real fast. Rolled around back to zero. 
Yeah. Um, I stopped time, but not for me and the Atari. That's really weird. Or, and the electricity. Okay, switched all the switches. Try again. Not that it's going to make any difference, but mm -hmm. might. No. Okay, version two does not play on my hardware for some reason. That is very strange. But we got version one in. Probably a code error, missing it, missing, missing number sign. Yeah. But uh, it's not that much different. Uh, the objective of Dora, uh, three point dash version two is score as many points as possible by shooting three pointers. Same. Game consists of shooting rounds, where the player must make nine successful shots into the hoop within a given time limit in order to advance to the next shooting round. Ah. I was so, just going to say that the three point dash part of it. And I was like, oh, why is it a dash? And then you just right. described version two as being more of a dash. That's yeah. a dash. So you have to, you don't get any misses. You just have a time limit to get nine. Uh, That's cool. If the player <clears throat> fails to make nine shoots, shoot shots into the hoop within the allotted time, the game ends. And I'm guessing it gets harder because the hoop is moving faster as it, as it progresses through the, uh, through the different um, levels because otherwise it would stay the same. So I'm guessing it would be like the other version where it starts moving faster. Like one is a static one, you go nine. Probably not, because that's too easy, because you don't have to, even, have to even move. But, uh, and not testing with Stellar developers, options enabled. Yes, that is very important. Developers, turn on the developer options so that it um, puts errors into it and puts like, um, it doesn't zero out things like it loads up the 2600 in a That's random the developer uh, options you mean yeah on mm. stella the emulator mm -hmm. it puts all the um memory into random uh items so that because some developers might assume oh it's all zero mm. and then they do a check against a number and it's like compare two numbers and they assume it's gotcha. zero yeah and they don't and sometimes it isn't sometimes it isn't but as a developer, you want to zero out all your memory to start with or fill it with things. Mm -hmm. And don't assume it's zero. And they may have done that, something like that. Um, or did something that the emulator is like fine with, but a real system's not. And that's what the developer's settings are for, mm. is to closer emulate uh, edge case things for developing. Uh, which means we'll move on to Duet by Thomas Yench. Now, I'm just going to warn you, this is a hard game. <laughs> this is a very challenging game. Oh, before we do that, don't load it up yet. Um, I'm going to show where this game came from, because it's a port of a game. And it is a port of a mobile game, but it's also on Steam as well. Um, so let's switch over to that. And I can also change cartridges. Boom. Uh, okay. Oh, can't put any music on because you never know. So this is where it came from. You control the balls uh, at the bottom yeah, and you turn yeah. them left to right. And I have played a variation of this game on some system. I think it was my phone. Expand the limits of your radial awareness. I don't have any <laughs> radial awareness. I can't expand what I don't have. <laughs> Already angry and playing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Thomas Yench said, "This looks like something that could be put on the 2600, because you look, there's only like one thing coming down at a time on each level, mostly, and the 2600 has enough items to play with to make this type of game, and it's vertically scrolling, which 2600 excels at." So um, he said, I did not know this mobile game until lately. It soon became really hard, but I think it might be a good, it soon becomes really hard, but I think it might be a good candidate for a 2600 game. And I, um, looking at it, I would have thought that as well. It's like, oh, this is simple enough. Like you get rid of the background, you get rid of the streaking, unless you're playing on a CRT, in which case there will be, or an emulator. Uh, you get rid of the trails there mm -hmm. and you have enough items. You have one, two, and three on the same line. And because this is falling... Well, we'll, we'll play the game. We'll kind of analyze how we did it. 
um, but uh, expand the limits of your radial awareness. And obviously they're not going to have these crashes. <laughs> That's pretty advanced. Okay, let's go back to the 2600 game and give it a go. Don't start it up yet. Okay, so there are the two balls. Um, I get this. The original game description, your survival is dependent on protecting two vessels. Am I not supposed to start yet? Is that what you're saying? Not just yet. Uh, they are devices in sync. Uh, a dance and song between two entities tethered together in symbiosis. Feel the edge of your seat terror when the world around you becomes quiet and numb and all that matters is the game. That is duet. That's from the original game description. Um, so I think it's button to start and then you turn left and right. <laughs> Smack. Oh. And, uh, but he's also added a little, uh, little rotating thing so you know where your radius is, which is very helpful. He is learning. It's like watching an AI learn. <laughs> it's you. Oh, that no. one's coming down. It scared me. It, it faked me out. So this is version three. Oh. 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 Boo. Of the game. It's posted. Oh, nice. Made it to level two. Oh. So uh, with version three, the game finally gets some structure. And that's why I put it on the show today. Um, because it has enough that you can play it now, and it, there is levels and progression. Um, added fading and horizontally moving obstacles. Oh, oh you almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> the game is now played in stages of increasing difficulty. You start I don't game... learn. It's, it's, not, it's, one of, it's one of the base features of my personality is I, I don't learn. <laughs> oh, oh, see? Oh, oh. <laughs> You start a game with three lives and gain an extra life for each finished stage, up to three. Uh, oh, okay, so you can't get four. Uh, to start and to continue the game after stage or crash, press fire. Notes, the difficulty ramp up is far from being finished. Whoa! Oh! Uh, uh, currently, each stage only gets one obstacle longer oh. and a bit faster. I plan to have much more easier early stages where the various obstacles types are introduced slowly. As of now, the game starts with everything thrown at you at once. Evil. Uh, the Some obstacle combinations fall too late. I'll fix that next version. Oh, boy. Invisible objects. Uh, whoa, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, that one was coming. Uh, uh, also, the collision detection of faded obstacles at the very bottom of the screen doesn't exist. So you can get past faded obstacles if they're low enough. Nice. Uh, <laughs> not that one. Uh, by the way, the code already counts the stages and even the score, but there's no code to display them yet. Um, Vitoko asked in the forum, it currently plays very well. Any chance to support CX-20 driving controllers? Which is the first thing my mind went to when I saw this, because he's been playing around with driving controllers. Um, for uh, games, accelerated driving controllers as well. And Thomas Yanch says, the game won't work well with a driving controller. <laughs> there are too many 360 degree turns and you need more precision than the driving ah! controller can deliver. Whoa, whoa. There's also a, uh, a video in the thread showing like a really advanced player just dominating the game. Oh, too early. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'm, I'm feeling the shame that you feel I should feel. Just so you know. Especially there. Um, so, looking at the code of the game, I believe the two balls at the bottom of the screen are players, not the code, not looking at the code, looking at um, in Stella, the two balls at the bottom of the screen are players. The one, the bricks falling down, for the most part, are um, playfield, except for the ones moving left and right. 
which are balls, I believe, um, because you can't, he didn't want to um, make them move chunkily because that's what you'd have to do with play field. Oh, that was close. You'd have to move them four pixels at a time. No, missiles. Oh, the things at the bottom of the screen are missiles. Okay. Um, yeah, because it has two pixels, then four pixels. So you can use them as missiles. And uh, the dots, what are the dots made of that are rotating around? Let me go the other way. Are those uh, players? Or are you using the players for the moving uh, blocks that are falling? Oh, ball. Okay. Oh, because everything falling is white. Oh, that works really well, actually. Yeah. And then the player characters are the, the abnormally moving um, blocks. Well, that makes it for a lot more flexibility. Yeah. Ah. Oh, interesting. Oh, because... Yeah, you can see it when you die and you run into one of the moving uh, blocks. It, they change color. And the moving blocks disappear when they get close. Some of them disappear when they get close to you. That one doesn't. Ah! Interesting. Okay. Hey, ITC. Uh, we started uh, half an hour ago, so at noon Pacific time. So not too long ago. You didn't miss too much. Yeah, uh, I announced a stream late last night. That's probably why you may have not seen. Uh, that one was invisible and moving, was it? Oh my god. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's challenging. You have to kind of... I, I'm just lucking out on that last one. I don't know where it is. I Yeah, I was <laughs> like, how did you... Uh. I was playing it, and this is the level I could not get past, and I don't know how to get past it. There's a bunch of blocks falling down there. No, I did get past it eventually. I figured it out. You have to kind of weave in and out. Most of the blocks are play field. The moving and fading ones are sprites. Oh, okay. Pity the driving control is not precise enough because that would have made extra special standout from the original. Yes. The... Uh, Mind turn. Oh, the little thing going around is now red. <laughs> <a> new kitten. <laughs> yeah, sock kitten. This is really good. I like oh, you game. weren't done. No. No, like you didn't use up your all your lives in this one. Yeah, that's, I, I said you said you weren't done. I said no, as in oh. no, you are correct. I was not done. Okay, this. Oh no, you have to spin around. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Okay. Like this. Hard as hell. <clears throat> hard, hard, hard. This is where I'm going to die for sure. Ah! Not that stupidly. Come on. Ah, I should have went the other way. Did I get one more chance? Yes. Good. Ah, too early! No! One more, please! Yes. No, this is no. the first level. Damn it. Yeah, very addictive game. One of those games you know when you messed up, it's your fault. Oof, that last one freaks me out. And spin, and spin, and spin. Whew. Oh my god. Get it! <laughs> Can't believe it! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh. Ah! Uh, invisible! It's just always invisible, that one. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, I see. Oh, I, what? Oh, they, one or the other of what? them is invisible. <laughs> oh, my God. That's too hard. Thomas! No, oh, that was my fault. Reminds me of X-Wing. X-Wing? Yeah. This is no! Stupidity. Notoriously, you, you had to... If you weren't a Jedi... And couldn't see the future. <laughs> yeah. You literally had to have played the game because it was impossible 
to know where the th to to succeed without having seen the future and knowing where the things came in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, never mind. Never mind. Never, just never mind. Those invisible ones freak me out, especially when they're near the bottom. And he says he's going to fix that so you can run into them. <laughs> like, don't do that. No, <laughs> oh, wrong way. Damn it. Ah, to ah. be clear, it's really good. I really like it. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. Like, it's super challenging. Like, none of my complaints about the difficulty are, like, actual, genuine, like, you need to change this complaint. They're just, like, you know. Heart. Two invisible blocks. Sometimes a game blocks. is legitimately hard, and you complain about it. And that's yeah. kind of my standard. Okay. Go. Ah! I need to go vertically and then to the left. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't list myself. Is this the first level? Yeah. First level looks like the level I die on. Yeah, I had that. I had that problem too. Part of it is that I keep forgetting that on the first level there there is a moving platform. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by the moving yeah. platform on the first level all the time. Like I forget. Oh, I actually took a while to get the first level. <laughs> it, it was not easy. Yeah. Ah, ah, invisible. the level I can't pass. Right here. Oh, I knew I had to go vertical, and I remembered I, I to do it. I saw you do your... Uh, Still implementing features, so this is on the just game. for testing. This it's, is the level I can't pass. <laughs> ooh, Seconds ooh, later, ooh. passes it. <laughs> um, and I wanted to play it today because it is good enough to show on the show. Like, it has oh, yeah. all the features. It just doesn't have scoring and stuff. But it has all the basics of playing. Oh, uh, does it loop around, or am I going to die? I mean, you can always add stuff, <laughs> but, like, yeah. it wasn't obvious to me that it wasn't uh, finished. No. I mean, ah! you don't have to have a score no. with a game like this. It's like, what level did you get to, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I passed it. Oh, God. Sometimes passing the thing on the first go doesn't do anything for you. Because <laughs> you didn't learn anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll learn it later when you go on and don't pass. You'll just feel dumb because you'd already done that one before. <laughs> yep. Oh, did I start over? Yeah. Uh, okay. Very, 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 very good. Yep. Oh, my God, Thomas. What a great uh, game to uh, port over. It works absolutely perfectly on the 2600. Um disappearing blocks are challenging but now that i've played it a bit more it's totally doable uh so like ikaruga uh i haven't played that combination where james dying is quite unfair <laughs> <laughs> i did make it i did make it further than that so i'm not i'm not too upset more lives will be good or or um or just like having if you want it doable on the first time, mm -hmm. and there's no reason the game has to be doable on the first time, even technically, like no. it's it's fair no. to make a game in which you have okay. to like learn the thing before you can do it. But if you 100%. want it to be doable, then it just has to be on the screen a little bit before it fades, like some information, enough yes. information to like yeah. Is it I don't moving? Know how you do it though. Is it moving? How big is it? And its location. That is enough. It's still really hard to get all the information because you don't know how far does it move, all that stuff. But it's, yeah, uh, and, and so far, it might. It, so far, it has given enough information. Yeah. Like I can see how big it is, and enough. And I think it always goes all the way to the extents on the left and the right, um, so that it's enough information. Yeah. Okay. Um, awesome, Thomas. I can't wait to play it again when you um, have the difficulty ramp up a little bit easier. Even though it's it's fine, I've been progressing. 
uh, level it, by level. Yeah, it's it's hard. Yeah. You warned us it was hard. <laughs> it was hard, like you said, not harder <laughs> yes. than you said, and not yes. easier than you said. It was like, like, yeah. And I also found myself not needing to absolutely memorize the levels i can kind of now your fingers remember yeah i can i can recognize oh, oh that, what to do yeah that yeah, yeah. pattern i understand that pattern and that block and that size if i had to memorize oh this level has this and i have to move left or right i don't think i'd be able i'd be more frustrated with the game and looking at like the speed run that somebody did um there's no way they can memorize whatever 500 levels that they have. Oh, yeah, no, it was clear that some of the things, it was like, you can show. you can learn how to do this particular puzzle. And yes, it's the combination it of the puzzles that that can, continues to keep it challenging. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that was, already, that was already evident here. It was already doing that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let me show the speed run and showing that there's no way the person has memorized like an hour five hours of levels um, <laughs> i don't know why it says five hours but it don't, doesn't have all five hours here uh okay go to youtube there we go oh mute and he's playing at 200 speed 200 percent speed too uh, oh the game is playing at this this isn't the video yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like those ones there where it's obvious that you just spin, like they seem scary at first, but once you know, it's... Oh, God, the those spinning ones. ones where you have to spin with it? Oh, my God. It's I sort of like a lot of the games where you play the thing and I'm like, I can't do that jump, and you're just <laughs> like, this is just normal jumping. Right, <laughs> yeah. You, once you get used to it, you can do it. But it, does, it is very impressive to watch these. <laughs> very impressive. Like, I can see how they've memorized it. Like, at first, when I first watched this before playing the game a lot, I'm like, I can never do that. But now I can see, like, okay, I can see the patterns. And the ones, big one spinning on the left, you only have to do, like, a little spin with it. And the one spinning in the middle, you only have to move a little bit with it. Because it's going to hit you at the same spot every time. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to be vertical when it gets to the bottom or something yeah, like that yeah. change is good for you now i i don't know if thomas is going to be able to do the full he should be able to to do it with a player um a full spinning block um thomas are you planning on doing those full spinning blocks in the middle of the screen and the left hand side of the screen because you should be able to do a certain size of it. Well, the two balls have to be a, a oh, discernible God. from each other. Because he was, he was saying level. that you there are ones memorize. where the blocks are colored and it's okay to touch the one with the blue. Oh. Uh, I think that that's what he was saying. Which means that those do have to be different. They can't just be like two halves of the oh, same. Oh, God. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. You have to match up colors knowing that one can hit. And one will go through the block, and one won't. It's sort of like those games, like uh, like there are VR games where, like, there's what's it called? Ooh, do that animation, Thomas. Definitely, because <laughs> you probably could do some version of that. New record. Oh, five minutes, not five hours. Ah. So this is a full run of the game. I guess ah. you can. S How is it a speed run? Like things fall at the exact same time i'm guessing because you're allowed to ramp up the speed of the play i yeah. guess so yeah sell animation at the end or cool animation at the end yes beat saber that beat one? saber that's the one like, yeah that's the one i was gonna say and it's like you once you get used to it you do chop the red ones with the red and yeah. it's part of the learning process where they'll like switch the sides and do stuff like that yeah because yeah, like you were talking about drumming before yeah. the show yeah, and Beat yeah. Saber is drumming essentially just yeah, different yeah. spots yeah. of drumming yeah. right and after a while you memorize my hand goes there when that thing comes up yeah like you don't even have to think about your hand moving there yeah it's an automatic thing yeah. and that's you know there's different I should read up about like the different stages of gaming because there are kind of like that right At, when you first start playing a game mm-hmm 
you have to be conscious. Like my joystick does this, jump is this button, and you're getting used to how the game plays. And then you get to the next level where you forget you have this automatic connection between buttons and action. And you're like, okay, I jump here. You don't have to actively think about that button makes me jump. You just think I need to jump and you, your hand automatically does the jump thing. Um, and then you go beyond that where there's combos and stuff and until it's almost it's second nature, what you're, how you're playing yep. and yeah, getting into the groove. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and also the ability curve, I always find that, especially when I'm doing long runs of games, is like, okay, you start off, either you're really good when you start off and you're just being lucky, yeah. or you build up and then you get to this point where... It's, it's more like best. this. <laughs> like it starts yes. off, you learn a lot quick. But I don't know what the graph is actually, because there are certain yeah. skills that actually take a while and you just suck. Because yeah. you can't <laughs> jump from one platform to the other. Yeah. But then once you do, yeah, I don't know. You but probably you're, you're still, your skill, even though you suck, it's probably like this. Because you your yes. skills probably... And it gets... Being able to jump from one platform to the other happens like this. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. But, That'd be interesting but to see. After you a while, could graph it, though. Doing it the opposite for you guys. So <laughs> that this way. and But then after a while, I find there's a, a drop-off after a bit. Because you get fatigued or uh, overconfident, you get overconfident. Yeah, yeah. There's a you... there's a thing that happens in, when I'm when I'm learning like a new song or something. Yeah, I'll be like, you get is, almost lazy. It is very very common. Like you, there's these apps that help you play like musical instruments with a, with an app or what have you. Yeah, and it is very common for the very first time I play something to be the best time. Yes, and then yes. I can't match that after <laughs> hours and hours of practice. I can't match it. Yes. Because I because I wasn't beginner's I didn't, luck. That's that's what that they is. They call it beginner's luck because but you're it's not, too consistent. It's be, it's because it's a, a state, right? I, I think like, beginner's luck comes in when just, you are not scared of what's going on in the screen, and you're just you're like, not distracted oh, you're just, by other like, things. Oh no, that yeah. thing, and it's yeah. like oh, you just do it, and yeah. you just cut, you do get lucky as well because you don't really. It'll sure also happen play. on the first time I do it that session. Oh, yeah. I'll be like, oh, doo -doo -doo, and then I'll do it again, and I'll be like, I screw up the thing I'm always screwing up, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You overthink it. For, That's for sure. what it is. And you don't even yeah. have to be thinking much about it. But no. like, And then there's a point where you reach it, and then you're not thinking about it at all, and you're doing yeah. it fine. Yes. And that's, that's obviously you want the to goal. Be that's where you want to that's be. That's what but. somebody said. That you're in the zone. Zone mode. Yeah. Thomas said that. Yeah. Okay. Next one is actually a two-player game. Uh, Cosmic Combat Redux by Rick Pryor, Kerry Yojimbo, first posted on February 5th. Yeah, that's right. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you think you know what you're doing, but you really don't. And, and don't think what, about what, elephants. What will <laughs> often happen is it's that I'll make a mistake and then my brain will be like, meh, 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 I did the thing. And then, you know, it just all goes to, to hell after that, you know, <laughs> I mean, because, because the part of my brain that I need right now, because I'm not that good at it, yeah. uh, to keep playing. It just is thinking about other things, yeah. And, I, and I've seen graphs of that of expertise on a subject as well. It's like people think they know a lot, and then you actually learn, and then you know you don't know a lot, but then you get really good at it again. Yeah, it's uh, overconfidence. There was, there's a, there was this, uh, it's a sci-fi book, but uh, it's called Armor, and yeah. there's this point, and there's this bit, and there's these uh, grunts, and they're just between combat waiting in line to get food or power or something and they're talking about they're talking about that they're like oh yeah you know your first drop is like super deadly and then the next <laughs> yeah. one is not as deadly it's like first drop is like 80 percent casualty rate and then it's like oh it drops to like 60 percent casualty for the next two and then the fourth one worse than the first one <laughs> it's the overconfidence it's like yeah i'm good now yeah dunning kruger that's that's yeah. what i was thinking of that's for the first hump is the Dunning Kruger is people think they know a lot and they say they know a lot, but they actually. But it's more. But it's like overconfident. It's like in their. You you need to be more specific. You need to define what you mean by think because yeah. you can you can consciously and like overtly say I don't know shit and still a part of your brain is expecting you to know better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even even if you're consciously like, I don't know anything, you know, <laughs> yes. like you, there's still a part of you that, oh, I got it before, so I'll get it this time. And then, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. 
Okay, let's load up the third game, Cosmic Combat Redux. Go for it. And I believe this is an exclusively two-player game. Still a work in progress. Um, I think we have to start, so... Don't. Oh, it's settings, okay. I think that's seconds. No, I'm, I'm winning. Look, at 90 points. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, I'm back to 60! 60. <laughs> uh, and, 30, uh, no! Here you, Jimbo, also made... Uh, um, Miss Galactopus, Galactopus, Shattered Earth, um, Cosmic Combat, Cosmic Canyon. Um, so he posted February 5th, about a year ago, a half ago, I posted a 2K, little 2K game called Cosmic Combat. I never meant to do anything more with it. It was just a programming exercise, something to do on a weekend. I was home alone. But the other day I had some ideas for expanding it and decided to go ahead and see if I can make them work. So without further ado, I present Cosmic Combat Redux. Uh, and here's the story. Long running tensions between the haves and the have nots spelled very differently have finally boiled over into a full-blown war cosmic combat redux is a two-player only game player one represents the haves and controls the red ship don't know who's who first um uh at the top of the screen you control all of the planet's resources represented by giant diamonds i want to keep it that way player two represents the have nots and controls the blue ship at the bottom of the screen you want to end the have stranglehold over resources by taking them away. Use the joystick to control your ship. Player one uses the left, so you are player one at the top. And player two uses the right, that'll be me. Move the joystick left or right to move your ship. Press the fire button to shoot. Uh, press the stick up to activate your shield, down to deactivate it. You can't shoot while your shield is activated, as per usual in most games. Each round begins with the ball in the center of the screen. It's bouncing around right now. Shoot it to make it move towards your opponent. Shoot it again while it's moving to make it go faster. Activating your shield allows you to deflect the ball back, but it only works if the ball hits the front of your ship. If the ball hits you, your ship is disabled for a second and a half. If the ball reaches the opposite side of the play field, you steal one of your opponent's diamonds. Whoever has the most diamonds at the end of the round wins. First one to win three rounds wins the game. Um, oh, no, you're the blue ship now. Uh, that was the old instructions. And I am the red ship on the top. Uh, shots now stun other players. So it's not just the ball. It's also you can shoot the other player. Score is updated. Thanks to Carl G. Left digit uh, is the red player score. Uh, middle two digits is a countdown timer, so it goes between 30, 60, and 90. Is that the settings? I guess so, yeah. Okay. Uh, and the right digit is the blue, blue player score. Uh, during the attract mode, press up and down a left stick to be uh, between winning two, three, or four rounds. So try that. Up and down. Okay, two, three, and four. Um, defaults to three. Uh, press left or right to select 30, 60, or 90 defaults to 60. So let's play the defaults. For now so go to three and 60. If you How can. about we go with the minimum for the first couple games so that they sure, end quicker sure. and my humiliation can be finished <laughs> much quicker? Yep. Make my death swift. I mean, please. It's, a bit, it's a bit silly. My humiliation will continue when we then play real games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spindly and Chalston and Meow. Meow. Uh, stupid people and AIs. We need AIs that are more imposter effect than Dunning Kruger. Uh, yeah, right now AIs are Dunning-Kruger. They think they know, but they're spouting garbage most but of the time. Do they think they know, or do they not well, think anything? No, they feel they're very confident. Like, you ask them, are you sure about that? They're like, yeah, it's real. It's the truth. Um, I mean, they, they don't, say that? They say that, yeah. But they don't... But why do they say that? Because they're the ones who made it up. They're, they're <laughs> but do they also say, oh, I'm not sure? Uh, no. Depending on who you are and what you're asking? I mean, it, it depends on the question. Yeah, that's um, what I mean. Like, is it that AIs are super overconfident or they don't have any confidence? And sometimes it sounds like they do because you worded it in such a way that they're going to give you what you... It does depend on, on the yeah. wording. And if you say, oh, you are wrong, they'll say, oh, sorry, you're absolutely right. I'm totally wrong. They make Ch you feel they're confident. Okay. Yeah. Chat GPT-4 will totally gaslight you. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> they're mostly just 10 billion times bigger version of Guess My Next Word feature on your phone. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a big data set to draw from. So and, it feels and if like the it's data right. set isn't, if, if it isn't uh, curated to be true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's flaws <laughs> in your data set. I know lots of people that will repeat, conf confidently repeat things 
uh, that, <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> that necessarily fact checked. I in it. Part of the problem is it used to be less. It used to be less likely that you'd read about a thing. Yes. And it was wrong. Yeah, because it would be from a book. And or there, from there a friend be, who read it. It from wasn't always book. right, There's but it was like more garbage. likely lots, to have been fact checked. It was more, more likely, likely to have been curated I think and, so. and like filtered. You know, there's lots of garbage. It was still out there wrong, that and sometimes it was it was just that you know, conclusions were preemptive or <laughs> or we now have more information. It was sometimes just we learn more now, yes. but now it's it's like the big problem is that. Missed. People just say the things that are wrong, and it's and they put it online. It's not that we don't know; it's it. that they don't know. Yeah, and and there's no you know gatekeepers to check these things. Even even Wikipedia is, is challenging it sometimes. Uh, also, during the track mode, press the select switch to be, choose one or two player games. Uh, when one player mode is active, the red ship's shield will be visible. One player mode doesn't do much at this point; it just bounces the ball back to you. Oh, okay, one player is like you're playing literally by yourself they'll absolutely hallucinate details they've never read before which is amazing tell me about this non-existent person it'll give a 30 page bio <laughs> yeah like you can ask it for to make a bio on yourself and it'll spell nonsense like oh yeah you uh, what you programmed a pitfall and uh you're an expert uh a home brewer and I'm like oh my god it's just nonsense okay let's do this Let's do this. Okay. I wasn't listening to you when you explained the rules, by the way. I'm Rad. I can shoot you and disable you. Of course, I have. I am the haves. You are the have-nots. What does that mean? Oh. That means you have to steal it by getting that ball to my side. You have to bounce it to my side. Oh, God. Now I have to bounce it on your side to get that back. Six seconds left. Oh, you've stolen one. My precious resource. So, I win because I have two out of three. You win because you cheated. Because you know how to play games and I don't. That's... I'm constantly disabling you. Yeah, but I disabled you and then I, you got me, even though I was pressing the button. Yeah, I thought. Uh, so the interesting <laughs> thing is that uh, I have my shield up, which I guess stops you from shooting me. Oh, just the ball, it looks like. No, uh, because okay. I shot you with the yeah. shield up. And with the ball, it doesn't stop me from being frozen, though. Uh, I did it's, not. It freezes you. It bounces the ball back, but then it freezes you. Sorry, start that again. When you hit the ball with your shield up, yeah. it bounces it back, but yes. it freezes you. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay, That's why I it? thought that it worked with the bullets. Oh, God. I'm going to put my shield on. Don't shoot me. I want to try. It does freeze you. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you didn't need to be told that, James. I <laughs> told you that. I just to try it out. I wanted to fact check you. <laughs> it's a lot of misinformation going on. Oh, God. Stealer. Thief. Yeah. <laughs> now you know how to play the game. No, it's just you were talking. <laughs> True. And I, and I wasn't. Ah! No! One. No! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no! It's hard to get it back. Get your... seconds is too many seconds 50 <laughs> seconds would have been the right amount of seconds <laughs> 13, 12. Ah, no stolen five seconds left win uh what, what I don't is know. That? why is there there was a diamond at the bottom yeah. and a diamond at the three diamonds at the top when it finished that last game that was interesting how's it still one? Oh, yeah. 90 seconds may be a bit long oh, but it's good it's settable 
have an option. And now you've got three. Thief! The have nots must not win. Ooh, another angle. Damn it, I need to use my shield. Not effectively using my shield. Oh, you just stopped it. Ah! it. Oh, so the ball stuns you when it hits you no matter what? Yes. A little suggestive, yes. <laughs> A little bit. If you squint. How do you make it go faster? Uh, two hits. Two shots. You have to shoot it. Get it going, though. But I don't want it faster because... Ah, no! Because it bounces around and I can't catch it. <laughs> oh, just in time. Uh, I have started my pseudo code to answer you, Thomas. Um, I have not started programming. I was away on vacation for a week, so I did not have much time to work on it. So busy. So many things happening. Even while I'm not really doing the show. Uh, set it to 30 seconds, I think, is fast enough. Oh, uh, and points uh, go up to three. Yeah. Why? Uh, best of three. It's not best what? of three, actually. You have to get three points. That's right. Did you set it three? <laughs> ah, well, stun. <laughs> really don't use the shield. I, don't. I should be. There we go. Stunned? No! No! Get it back. No. Thirty seconds is a good, a good amount of time, I think. Makes you really work for it. Cut! Went right through my shield. It always goes through the shield. The ball. Yeah. No, I don't know. No, it doesn't. It, it should bounce off the oh. shield. Oh my god. No! Uh-oh. Oh, 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 one more! Oh. Yes, all three. Nobody likes you. See what what oh. <laughs> see why does it do that? It puts it puts a, a diamond at the bottom yeah. at the end of the game. Uh, Not that it affects Maybe anything. the diamond would be on that side if I won. Oh, could be. That might be the winning. Darcy can't move because the ball keeps hitting you and I keep bouncing the ball back oh, oh somebody didn't turn off the sound it's an extra treat for the loser <laughs> A new sound. Oh no! No! I'm fine with that. You gotta do something different. You gotta change up your tactic. No! <laughs> no! 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 Three seconds. Oh, damn it. Ah. <laughs> what were you saying? I had to do something different? Yes. Change up my tactic? And then I uh, obviously gave you too much information. Ah. Oh, god damn it. I ran into it. Also, it doesn't freeze you if it hits right on the shield. Right. Only from behind. 
One all. Do you like my playstyle? <laughs> Random <laughs> inputs. <laughs> it's like spamming the button in Street Fighter. It's yeah. like, I hope I do a move. Ah, yes. No, stop shooting me. Damn it. No, five seconds. Ah. Oh, one second. Yes. <laughs> Best of three. Oh, both stunned. I'm going to keep shooting you. I guess I'm going to shoot you. You're stunned and oh the shield still works when you're stunned too. Which is kinda good. Oh, no, seconds. Yes! Oh ho, ho, cleaned up at the last moment. Yeah, bounce, bounce, bounce. bounce. Yeah. I don't think I even noticed that it did that before. Ah, it's not a really good game. I don't I don't think I noticed that it did the bouncing behind you. really good game nice balance um you're able to uh go win like back your points quite quickly um or lose them quite quickly and the added thing of the shield is is really good the only issue i saw was the um note off was not implemented to use the a midi term <laughs> so there was a it, it skipped over turning the sound off at some point ah. um it just i guess the sound lined up in a certain way didn't do that every time okay yeah, 30 second rounds i do like them better yeah i think they're that makes it a lot more fast paced because the game can turn around at any second 30 seconds is enough for that like 90 seconds is just i think like, a 90 second game it's like it, the first 60 seconds are irrelevant. It, you could just sit there and really do nothing. Unless you have a way yeah. of actually holding on to the lead, skillfully holding on to the lead. If you're good enough, I bet you could. Yes. Right, but in that case, you're just against somebody who's not as good as you. If you had two people that are both good, yes. and you can... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think if you're good enough, you could probably hold on to the lead. Okay, so this next game is... Uh, Xanthium 2600 by Mathen 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 Games. Uh, post April 1st. This is from April 5th. And this is actually a port. They made three ports Flappy Bird 2600, Punch Out 2600. Um, both of which, oh, what is that face? What is that face looking for? <laughs> um, and this is a port as well of Metroid. So we're going to take a little look at Metroid. Just so you have a reference point. Um, not that people haven't seen Metroid, but I do have Metroid, but ah, but I've not played Metroid to any extent at all. Um, oh, we're here. It's party, party time. Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. It's party time for kittens. Does that mean cat now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so party we, time. How do we party do it? Party time. Um, you put it in the lid mm -hmm. just a little bit. A little bit. Well, you do it if you want a little bit. I'm, I heard party time. Because uh, Tanya gives way too much. Oh, they, if I knew that there was an option, I would have given more. And they roll in it, and it gets all in the carpet, and they don't yeah. eat it anyway. That's Party that's, time for kittens. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch over for party time. Yeah, we'll call it... I'm not sure if it's party time when it's so stingily given out. <laughs> There, share it. There you share. go. Atari, don't you know how to share it? That means you hit the other cat until they give you what you want. Yeah, Atari's very... Oh, my God. Sprite is very greedy. Oh, he's got enough. He's rolling around. Thank you, BR Poka, for giving the kittens some party time treats. They're very thankful, especially Sprite, who's going in for some more. <laughs> Well, you can watch them in the corner. <laughs> um, so, Metroid. 
uh, is an action-adventure game in which the player controls Samus Aran in sprite-rendered in two-dimensional landscapes. The game plays take, takes place on a fictional planet of Zebes, Zebes, a large open-ended world with areas connected by doors and elevators. The player controls Samus as she travels through the planet's caverns and hunts space pirates. She begins with a weak power beam and only uh, her only weapon and the ability to jump. The player explores more areas and collects power-ups that grant Samus special abilities and enhance her armor and weaponry, allowing her to enter areas that were previously inaccessible. Among the power-ups included are the Morph Ball, which allows Samus to curl into a ball and roll into tunnels. You can see right there. Uh, the Bomb, which can only be used well in ball form and can open hidden wall uh, floor panels. And Screw Attack, a somersaulting move that destroys enemies in its path. In addition to common enemies, Samus encounters two bosses, Kraid and Ridley, whom she must defeat in order to progress. Ordinary enemies typically yield additional energy or ammunition when destroyed, and the player can increase Samus's carrying capacities by finding storage tanks, defeating bosses. <laughs> Once Kraid and Ridley both have been defeated, the player can shoot their stat statues to open the path to the final area and confront Mother Brain. Cats, you're not on the webcam. Um, so that is oh, my fault. the game. <laughs> that's that's where it comes from. So this is a bit of a, a scaled back version of it. So there you go. And we'll switch over. And it's a 64K game, so I have to run it from my Uno cart because my Harmony Encore and my system do not like playing 64K games, unfortunately. So SD card content. We should do a combined round. First party time, then <laughs> treats. And maybe Atari has a chance then. True. Okay, load it up. SD card content. Uh, today. And that one. And let me restart it so the audio is in sync because that's annoying. Okay. Xantheon. Okay, the, the controls are left and right to move, up to jump, mm. down to select missiles. <laughs> did he just, oh. did you sense a note of disappointment? <laughs> uh, down to select missiles and fire to shoot. Uh, blue doors open when shot. Red doors require a missile. Uh, defeat the two bosses to win. At the end of the game, we'll give a percentage of items collected. Try to get 100%. Um, so I will show you what's on the screen. See the... Oh, you are dying. Get back up there. Okay, stop. Stop moving. Or at least don't go to another screen. Um, so the bottom left is energy tanks remaining. You don't have any. Bottom middle is energy remaining. You have 93. Bottom right is missiles remaining. You don't have any missiles. And uh, when missiles select are selected, the HUD is blue. So it's white right now. So, and the developer uh, gave some maps for the game. And they're right there to begin with. And there's the map system. So if you go down, I think you need like armor to go down to that um, other area because it uh, depletes your energy. So that is a blue door. Um, which you can shoot to open. It's the red doors that you need missiles for. Uh-oh. Uh. I guess I have to go this way. That's always off to have a bat in a game. Uh-oh. I think you can get up there. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean a skilled player could get up there. I think yeah. you can just jump up there. Can you not? Or is it too high? Oh, oh no, you can. Apparently you can. Never mind. Another bat. So that is a uh, blue door that you can shoot at. Uh oh. Oh my god. Bats are attacking. Maybe it's invisible. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you can't jump up there. Hi. So it was posted by Mathan Games. Play the original Xanthium as it would have been released in 1981 for the Atari 2600. Ah! Play as Lieutenant Grisham on his first mission on planet Kotai 5.
<laughs> Thomas's plan is to make Sprite high first, then Atari gets all the treats. That may just work. Distract Sprite. So you need a missile to open that door. So you might be able to get missiles from <laughs> shooting creatures, maybe? Let's see. So it's up to jump. Fire, fire, fire. Ow! Can I shoot this guy? Your bullets seem uh, smaller than mine. Yeah. What's that all about? I don't know. No, maybe you can't shoot that guy. I mean, you can shoot him, but it doesn't do anything. Ow! Oh, he's my not God. sensitive to bullets. No, no, he's not. Oh, there's something. Yeah, right. can I don't think it? I can get it. Obviously, this, the color, is related to that other thing, the missile that they're using. Right, but the bullet size is still small. Yeah, that's very yeah, interesting. interesting. Don't know if. I don't think you can defeat that guy. I don't think you can jump up there either. Hmm. And going down there is deadly. That guy didn't give me anything. can go down there though maybe you can also go across which i haven't done oh you went down instead i oh, fell okay. down went down overstates <laughs> my uh intentions <laughs> oh, no, you can't shoot this guy either or uh, kill him with a shot no he's just just a mean old guy no oh, oh you can jump Let's see what's over here Ooh, a missile. missile. Okay, so I can get through the red door, which was down, right? Gives you five missiles. Ooh, very nice. Uh, no, not down. It was left. It was left? I think. Oh. I think it was down and left. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. was missiles. There were missiles uh, to the left. There. That's a door I cannot shoot to get through. I have to use the missile. So I'll switch to missiles. And switch back. There we go. Ow. Oh. That could just open. I don't think they drop anything. Cotile 5. No, not Cotile 5. Does sound like that, doesn't it? Oh, where'd that guy go? Oh, he's coming back. He wrapped around the whole earth. Uh, can I make it? Yeah. Okay, another impossible guy. Okay, go up. Ah, oh, I should be going over when they're down. And an actual dead end? Fake dead end? Let me see the map. Yeah, I can see it on there. It's an actual dead end. That will help. Thank you. Right here. I don't have any power-ups to go down to that deadly area yet, though. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, maybe I can jump up there. Uh, yes, and then you get more missiles. Oh, I can't That's how you there. get the missile that you couldn't get to before. I can't jump high enough there, though. Uh, but if you come from the other... No, you can come from the other screen. You must. There must be some other power-up that lets you jump higher, because look. I think... Oh, wait. I can jump up here. Damn yeah, it. but then how do you... Died. But you can't jump from there over here. Oh. Uh, okay. So let's you can go again. down the hole, though, and fall infinitely deep <laughs> to down here. Oh, that might be a, a way that I need to go. Okay, so let's get the missile again. Ow, damn it! And then we go down here, and then we fall. Right. Oh my God. Sure, why not? Or was it a? Yeah, yeah. You yep, go up still. there. Okay. And then fall down. Fall down here and very far, far, far away. Or should I land in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Or Aye. to the right. There. Oh, there we go. So let's go to the left because that's kind of a dead end. Yeah, I don't think you can. Oh, you can get up there. Yeah. Has a little... But you can't get back. Oh, oh god no I bet there's a jumping thing. They would not there we go, a boot. There you go. As we say in Canada. A boot. <laughs> yeah, now you can oh, get yeah, four. It's much just enough. Okay, perfect. Now you would be able to go up over here and get a missile. Ooh, but I can't. I have to no. go the long way. So should I go down or ooh, I should probably go down? And then go back up and across. Because uh, well, you can... go down and then you go over here and get a missile. Okay. Across. Oh my god. 
Hopefully there's some health. Maybe that's what it is instead oh, of a missile. God. I don't know. It's very small. I should go under that guy? Oh, there's like some sort of there's wall. There's nothing here. Thing. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, no. There's something oh. behind that wall, but there's no indication how you get there. Oh, no. Oh, did I shoot him? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, my God. These guys just stay on you. Oh, my God. 15 left. No. No. Easier to die and start over. Go oh, up, up! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better to not die because then you get practice not dying. Oh, God. Okay. Let's do this again. I do need a missile. Let's go get those missiles. Jump up. Up. Missile. I really don't like up to jump. I do have a joystick that has a second button that emulates up for jump. Uh -huh. And then I go to the left. Yeah. And then you lose some points to the back. Oh, see, your gun's uh, fat now. Oh, weird. So I want to go over the bat. Ugh. Like, it, is there just no way to avoid taking the like that? Oh, my God. I think you can trigger it and then go to the right. Why am I having trouble jumping now? Well, you shoot him. I could. Because okay. you assume that you'll make the jump this time. That's why. Yes. I, am, I do have a fat. That's really weird. Yeah. It's like, I think the game is setting a width or a height, and it's not resetting it. Okay, now I want to fall, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> then I want to go across at the top. Oh, no, I want to get the boots. You want to get the boots. The boots. It's a boot time to get a boot. Rage reset. There's no split in the wall. There might be a secret there. That is possible. There is a secret here. I don't know which one. I think you have to shoot some things with a missile to open it up. Should I, I should probably do that. Because otherwise I'm missing the secret. So, can I go down? But no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No? Uh, no, go back up. I think down is death. Is it? Uh, because you have to fight that thing all the way here. But here, the plat oh, you might be able to hop across the drop. platforms and then drop. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. It'll give me a chance to see the platforms anyway. It really doesn't save any time. Dropping down. It saves you hit points. Uh, true. Um... Okay, let's try the triggering the bat and then going to the right and then going over top the bat. Yes! Retained! Oh I really don't like up to jump and I really don't like up to fire either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like either of them. I need to have multiple joysticks that... Uh, this is, this is the, the psycho guy. Oh. oh, no. Did I mess up? No. No, I have fine. My, that's fine. You got to go down here. Oh, no, no, you got to go to your boot now. Yeah. Okay. Still have all my health. So I'm doing perfect so far. Yeah, that joystick I got the other day is for the second button emulating a Genesis controller. Uh, and a joystick. Now I just need to make another joystick which has up to jump permanently wired to a second button. Then I'll have the full trifecta of and then, 600 joysticks. And then you will be able to complete games that you don't have the skill to complete. Yes. Because <laughs> completing the game requires, properly requires using the joystick that it was designed for. Instead yep. of circumventing it. Because you know what else you could do is you could just um, make a macro uh, enabled joystick that does all the work for you. <laughs> then even I would be able to do good on games. <laughs> macro enabled. Time macro. Okay. Need to switch to missile. And, and I'm out of missiles. And you are about to be out of hit points because this guy is persistent. Yeah, I don't know how to. Oh, He's a jump! Real fan. You know what the problem is? Uh besides me, is that the angles don't jump. 
Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. I'm yeah, pressing yeah. right. That's why I couldn't oh, jump. Oh, it is jumping. I couldn't. Uh... Now it's jumping. Anyway. Uh, thank you so much, the anonymous gifter, for giving out a community sub gift to Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, Top and Tom, the core and duet. Yeah, Thomas is working on three. Okay, what am I going to do here? This bat is going to be on me immediately. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is going to be a ni uh, nightmare getting across. A nightmare. Nightmare. Bes a oh. nightmare. Besides dealing with the bats every time I fall. Okay, I've only got 15. No! no! <laughs> Nine left. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Just tell him I'm Batman. Okay, let's do it again. There's some. I can't figure it out when I'm a. Oh, that one had a couple issues there. When you're against, I don't know, I can't seem to jump sometimes. Is it that, oh, I know what it is. When you're already pressing up at an angle to jump, you can't jump again. And when I'm doing the bat areas, when there's lots uh... of platforms, I don't return it back to exactly right right yeah, or left yeah, yeah, yeah. to do the up angle again yeah yeah I know what you mean. yeah yeah trigger the bat so now that i know that hopefully i can uh do this a little better Die. and yeah there we go now i know this is oh yeah i have to go to the down here and then go to the left, get my boots. Boots! Boots. It's a boot time. It is. So, Atari is going to be going into the vet today because his asthma is getting worse, which is very oh, sad. No. Yeah, he has, he has, oh my God. Asthma attacks. Why, why are you going across here? Oh, I don't know. I like to torture myself. <laughs> um, uh, so I think, uh, do they come in the same spot? Maybe you have to jump to the right next time when you go up there. Oh, yeah, they do come in the same okay. spot, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh you don't want to fall down. I don't. You want to stay up. <laughs> no! Ah. I don't uh, think I can jump. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. I'm fine. Everything's everything's fine. Oh, is that the end? That's the final. It's not wedge. over till it's over, man. It's what am I supposed to do with this bat? You take a bat. <gasps> but you haven't had an opportunity to shoot them before. They've no? always been super high. Okay. That is good to know, though. <laughs> Have you a oh. funny screen? We, we we're both we both go. <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's good so there's no other way to get to that secret area oh my god how do you get there i shot it with a missile and it wouldn't let me through maybe i need some You're of right. the power up we've exhausted 100 percent of the things that could oh, be done maybe i <laughs> maybe i need to find maybe there's that ball thing that i can change it to a ball i don't know yeah maybe that's it some other weapon some armor Ooh. Can I shoot this door? Okay, good. Oh! Is that health? Oh, it's health. It's health. Oh, can I spam this? Oh, I bet I can spam this. But it might be... Uh... Oh, oh my, my god. god. Is that missiles? Yeah. Ooh, spam time! I didn't know that you could get drops. Neither did I. The other one didn't do that. 
health. Thank you very much. Feels now, like let's cheating. go this way. That's even faster. Oh, I see. And I've got 99. How many does this go up to? Five. Only five. I'm full. Okay. Um, Ooh, I see a gap. I see a gap. Oh, the tricky. Plank. Very nice. That's a good representation of a... But that wasn't in that secret area. No. Because I shot it, but I didn't really try to go through it. No, that was it. here. This yep. is the secret area. Maybe maybe that wall? Up here gets try and you go against back the wall, up maybe? this way, and then there's something over here. Hmm. Ooh, an energy tank. Nice. So if I am knowing correctly, if I go down to zero, it'll deplete an energy tank and put me back up to 99. Wow. That... Can I get another it's like one? an extra life. It's pretty much an extra life, yeah. Oh, it got... No, look, I got up to 10. When did that change? When I got that energy tank? Maybe. Oh. Hmm. Things are giving, like... Oh, can I get this guy now? No. He's invulnerable. Little hedgehog. It's an awesome game. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's like, got so much going for it. Oh, God. Can I shoot him now, or only when he's, like, resting? Hmm. Wait, don't go over there yet. Should I go left or right here? Where, over here? Uh, yeah, right around here. So yeah, I should so go left. Go, yeah, you should go left, yeah. Was that a missile, is... missile tank in the hidden area? Oh, what did it say those were called? Um, energy tanks is the bottom left. So uh, Missiles went to 10 after you picked up some missiles after bat killing spamming. Okay. Okay, here's an E. Another energy tank. And something up. Ooh, what is this? I think it's a bomb, and if you take it, you explode. Eep. W. Okay. W. You've got the W now. Oh, look at that. Look at my... Does that help at all? I think I think that's the... Maybe it's more powerful? I don't know. It... it, it uh... I'll try to... Go okay, so in the original... Oh, no, you were down there. There's nothing to do. I just saw it in the video. I remember in the video that you had to blow up parts of the wall, wall and it took a long time. Oh, maybe that's what it's for. But uh, you, you don't need to do that here. Okay. Because the space below that area was where you came from. That guy does not die. And you want to go to the right. Oh my god, it's the boss. Missiles to kill? I don't know. It doesn't it's not flashing. So. Switch to missiles. I'm going to shoot his head. Oh god, I'm gonna die. But you have uh Oh I do I have energy tanks, that's true. But I would like to get some more health. And some more um And there's more missiles. Ooh. Yeah. You're nine. That's not the place that you got them initially, just to be clear. It looks like it, but, yeah. Uh, so you're right here. Oh, God. One second, I have to get safe still. Okay. So you're there. Yes. And, and there's I don't all know of that. Is. Oh, yeah. maybe I should get that first. Because that... Cause Cause I don't think going to the boss monster. right now is a good idea. Because <laughs> there's more to explore. Yeah, it's just the boss there. Oh, I don't God. know that there's anything else... Oh, I'm using missiles. Damn it. Yeah, there's nothing else up there for you. Really? Except health. Yeah, yeah. But that's just by killing that bat, not by... Uh... So you can't kill the bats once they're taken flight. As far as I can tell. It doesn't show any other things. That's for it, like there are no other places apart from the two secret places that we don't know how to get into. Yeah. Uh, back there aren't any other. Depends. Is your goal to figure out if you can go in that secret place or to fight the boss? Uh, to fight the boss. 
then I have a boss. The boss didn't seem to, seem to like flash or do anything. Yeah, when I, hit I don't him. know what to tell you. I just, he did seem resistant to your advances. <laughs> he did. What's a bug or a feature? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, little beast. Is this where How I started? You? This looks so. That is. Yeah, starting. that's what I'm saying. So I'm oh. saying there's nothing for you there. You're just back at the beginning. Okay. You really want to go back the way you just okay. came. I'll try the boss again. Oh, God. And see if... We'd like some more missiles, though. These, this guy hasn't been giving me any missiles. He's just stingy. Wall hack. See me go through the wall for a second? Very stingy. There. Ah, yay! Okay, max missiles. Go under, over him. Because in the instructions, it doesn't the, list like all the, the power ups. But that's not the boss. Oh! Okay. Down one more. Ah! Oh my god. I'm just gonna shoot. I'm gonna stay down here. Ooh, nice. Ah! <laughs> I think I need to hit his head, right? It's usually what you have to do in boss. Oh! Got him! V for victory! Or U for. You did it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did it. Oh, I'm red. Now, can you turn into the ball thing? Uh, down just changes to missiles. Mm -hmm. um, down in angle doesn't do anything. Button holding down. Oh, my God. What? I was using a missiles for a second. Oh. Maybe I can shoot this guy now. Ah! some more energy oh maybe that's the suit that i need to go down to that area that was poisoning me oh yeah 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 because yeah. it changed how i looked so it must be like uniform or something like that yeah yeah it's been so long that i forgot time to farm some health and some missiles this is a perfect farming spot 13! Ooh! Nice! How high does it go? At least 15. Oh! Another screen shutter. Um, when this first came out, I, I did play it a bit and told the developer about... It was constantly doing that. Mm. Um, but then he fixed it. And then um, he says there's still screen shutter between switching levels, which he says he can't do anything about. Um, it's fine. Still need a bit of help. No. No. Don't need it. No. <laughs> now it's only giving me that. How about you? I, I should do that. Come on. I would take it. Oh, it, it, doesn't it doesn't go up any... Um, oh, just because it's like, oh, you didn't take it? We'll yeah, give it to you again. Except that you didn't take it, and it did give, oh, you, a, and it did give you an art. Uh, I think so... I was wrong. Uh, I think maybe you're getting it because of your timing. So like oh. every time you go on the screen, you shoot it at the exact same moment. Ooh. The timer might might be used as a randomizer, and it might be reset when you go on the screen. You do hear about that a lot in speedrunning um, videos, where it's like, oh yeah, when you're you doing go it again, but you, now the time is for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go in and then ah. you have to wait a certain amount of time yeah and it's usually when the level starts um, wait, and some... what, what are you doing to try and change that because you're talking about it but you're still going into the room and doing the exact same thing I'm guessing... why don't you go in and like stop and like that'll do it bet. <laughs> it didn't work but... 
But usually timers are so quick for randomization that okay. a yeah, human a good... but, but... doesn't really affect it that yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. That's, unless that's, you're... It, it, you, you, there's no reason it should affect it. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Unless you're an expert and you're like speed running and you do the exact same thing. I know movements. on Borderlands 2, if you open up a chest yeah. and uh, there, there's like a one use a key on, and if you open it up and take the stuff out and then open it up again right away, you get the same type of stuff over and over again. Oh. Well, this is. I've so got enough, I, I don't so. know how this would. Uh... Okay, so which direction do I need to go? Yeah. This, one? Uh, this looks that, familiar. Right. Um. Oh, no, this is a dead end to some bonus items. Yeah. Uh, where are you? Yay. Um. Wait, wait, where are you? I, going to the left goes to those bo bonus items through the hidden walls. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta go back up. Back to where the boss is and up that channel. Oh. So you're over so here. Around? You're yeah. over here. You need to go back here, up here. That's probably why they did the boss there and of way back. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And I've got full health. Now. Oh, there you go. Hot suit from the hot region <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> oh, was it hot region? Did it look? It, well, it was a constant damage thing, so you can call it whatever you ah. want. You can call it the toxic masculinity uh, level. <laughs> ah! Ah! No. I'm glad that you got all the extra health. Me too. Because these jumps. You were aren't... so careful when you were getting extra health and then. <laughs> Lost it stopped all. Stopped being careful. Oh, maybe this is more. Bad. Okay. So go through here. Yes, so I can kill. Not this guy. He doesn't want to die. Not the bat. This is where I was. No, it wasn't. Maybe I was. Yeah, this is where I was. I'm just going to try just for a little bit. Come on. It's that um, screen blanking is very bad if there's an enemy coming. Luckily, this level, this screen doesn't. There we go. We're good. The screen doesn't have something flying at you when the screen blanks. Okay. Okay. Uh, now you want to go up. Okay. Oh, this is the beginning. And you want to go to the right. Okay. I mean, I don't know where the bad guy is. He could be, yeah. yeah. And the reason I want to go here is because up there Ooh, is, that a secret? is possibly a secret 100%. that you might have to shoot. Ooh. Because it's like the one down below that you couldn't walk through. But maybe now you have super bullets? No. 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 Oh, there you go. I just had to go up high enough. Ooh, another E tank. Can you get three? You can get three. Apparently. And now just go left until you get to the beginning. Okay. Uh, unless you want more missiles. Uh, but I don't think you need no, them. No. Don't you can think just shoot I need them. Get a bat that. somewhere. There's a bat along the way here. You never give anything to you. Oh, you do! Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. I will do that. Right before the. Perfect. Thank you. Save game. Quick save. It's no saving. Okay, well, we'll see. Pull it down? Yeah. Yep, we're good. Okay. Hmm. Should I go down? I, the I uh, like Should that I the change? very first thing you're probably going to do when you play this game for the first time is <laughs> go, go down, down until I get burnt level. Oh, this is actually the second level. It's the red level. Oh, okay. It's a totally different map. Uh, Zephyr points out that the item got beep sound. Can you close that little thing in the bottom right? Because I can't read. Let's put an X over it. PS5 starting itself up from sleep mode. Uh, funny. Okay. Now I'm at the bottom. Should I go left or right? They both go different places. Where's the boss? That looks like a boss area, doesn't it? I don't know how you get there. Unless you can smash your way through here. To Maybe I should side. go right. Seems like right is leading to the grander map. Yes. And so there's. And it loops around. Both the same. I'll just go well, right. Go left. Okay. And uh, see what's there. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. You can jump over that. Yeah. Super jump. Oh, where's my Waverly? Oh my God. Wasting. Oh. 
stupid. How do, oh, because I pressed down to go down here. Oh, it goes through the walls, too. This is... Oh, it does go through walls. Look at the blue up there. Ooh. Is that stuff you can shoot? Well, that doesn't hurt me. But shoot it. No. no. So it just happens to be blue like the door. Just icicles. Oh, because the door is there. Because the door is there. That's uh. why. Okay, so... Uh, if you go across, I don't know that there's... Go across and see, but I don't think... I don't it's know that there's dead end-ish. There. No, it's nothing. Just a dead end. So, I'll go down. And oh. then you want to go... Yeah. A P. Yeah. Oh. My head. Ow. Just want to go all the way to the left. I don't have to be. Ow. Now going through here, I suspect you should go here to see what it is, but it because it's not very go long. Very far. Yeah, it's probably the boss. Because it's kind of the end part. It looks like. Oh no, it's not. Okay. It's oh. Oh. Oh, that's what the. Th E tanks are for, right? No, 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 no. That's what the okay. So when you get, when you get oh. a missile, you're not getting a missile. You're, you're getting, getting a missile upgrade. Capacity. So that's why getting this missile upgrade, which you didn't, because you couldn't get there originally. Oh, would have been. Yeah, I mean, beneficial. you could go up there if you want. It's nah. But okay. like, that's oh. the reason to go there once you get the jumping ability. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I did miss. I'm not gonna get a hundred percent. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that is terrible. That's terrible. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so I have to go over this. Way. I don't know if this is the right way. This is one of the directions you could go. Oh, okay. See, we went this way, and now you're down here, and you had talked about going this way. Yep. Uh, right there. I'm right there. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the right, because that go to the right. seems like a dead yeah. end-ish ish yeah. kind of place. Open. This might be a Ooh, more missile missiles. upgrade. To Twenty-five. Now I understand because he didn't supply like a an item list of what each thing does, but every, I'm sure it's very similar to Metroid, which I have not played. I do have it on my shelf. Wait, 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 wait! No, go the other way. I always thought it was like very mazy. Maybe if I print out a. Oh, hello. Oh, this is like from uh, Castlevania. <laughs> Shoot him? If you can hit him. Oh, I miss him every time. No, I think I'm going to have to jump over him. Yep. Can I? Yeah, I could. Think he hurts me or just his missiles? Mm. I think just his missiles. Oh. No! Where we're wrong. Give it. Ooh! <laughs> and you now, did shoot him. For punishment, you are my... What? what? Oh, it just takes a lot of hits. Shoot him a lot. Also, like really close. Go oh, back and fast. get your missile thingy. Oh, yes. Because might as well. It makes so, me scared that you're getting so many missile upgrades. That means uh, the you final need boss them. needs missiles, or at least. Come on. Yeah, a couple more. Close. Enough. No. So, is anybody else? Uh, watching if played this game yet or are going to play this game I highly recommend it if you like platformers it's really really good possibly not easy but um, because of this <laughs> but a lot of games allow you to find things, so. uh, this one is not letting me farm and Okay, 63 is enough for now. So I'll go to the left now. Yeah, and then you're going to go down. Okay. Go straight down. Okay. Oh, I can kill the hedgehog. That's not a good spot. And it's though. okay to fall down there because you're going to go down there anyways. Oh, so I'll get that then. I think. I mean, look down here. This is where you're going. I want one more. He's too slow. 78's fine. Empty. Foreboding. <laughs> Empty hallways are super foreboding. Okay, so you ooh, go ooh, past ooh, there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, Maisie. Maisie. Maisie will be able to go back. Up. Okay. 
This is the type of levels I like where the maze is not like super crazy. But it's like, okay, there's a bit of a maze. Okay, so here... I have an option. The down leads to the dead end. Okay, so I do want to go down. I want to go down there and see what that's all about. Could be the monster. It's a big open chamber. Yeah, it doesn't show it. But yep. Yeah, it's the monster. Is that the final boss? Looks uh, like it. It does. Yeah. And then and then you go up here. And leads back. Yeah, there's something here. Look. Oh, oh, yeah. I will go up a little bit. Uh-oh. Nobody's there. Good. Flanked out. Might be nothing. Nothing. Oh, almost hit my head on it. Ah. Ah. Oh, I'm at 99 anyway. I did not get all the items. So sad. Well, you can go back. To the first level. Oh, yeah. what is this? What is this? I can't get through. I shot one of the doors. Is that like a mistake? Hmm. Oh, another upgrade. Oh, that scares me. What was the upgrade? Uh, to the missiles. I have 35 instead of 30. How come I oh, can't okay. go through there? Is there something there? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Good. It's just because of the door. It's, it's uh... Just Wait, you're going back, but there's... Oh, I haven't been all the way through. Okay. I thought it was looped around. All and there's in here... Oh, I can't get in there. There's something... Uh, no, you can't, but here it shows you not being able to get there. Mm. So I don't know what that is. It's but sort of I... like the this spot here that you couldn't get to. and. Mm. So you've had to get it around the other way. But you, I don't I know how there, you get though. in there anywhere else. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I missed a secret. Oh, but you're going back down? Yeah. Because you could go... Oh, you can't get up here. I oh. See. This is near Ooh, the that's beginning. That's too high, maybe. Yeah. Let's try. I don't... Well, I'm here. It's way too high. Look, there's... Unless there's some... Uh... It was that, right? Yeah. Well, I don't... You can't get up there. I can't even jump up high enough to see it. No. Nope. But can you go through there? It just goes to a dead end. Uh, it just goes to a dead end. That's where I... I kind of want to go, but I can't. All right, that's the dead so end. There must be a way through there. the other way. Yeah. There must be some way there, otherwise they wouldn't put a door. <laughs> Maybe to trick you and make you frustrated. It's like, oh, come on. Yeah, I think that's the goal. <laughs> I'm making a game. How do I make people frustrated? <laughs> or to trick them. Anyway. So I have full health, four reserve tanks, 35 missiles. I should probably be okay. Unless the final boss is brutal. This is it, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Seems brutal. Yeah, I think. Okay. Jump. Let's see if I and can. You probably have to do this little... Oh, he has a pattern now. Okay, I'm going to jump here then. Perfect. Okay. Ugh, if I can actually try pull it off. Yeah. Oh, what is so the in the I'm sure he has hit points, right? And missiles just use. Oh, no stuff. Damn it. Oh. Sixteen. Oh, is it getting faster? Oh, God. Well, we'll see what those energy levels do. In a Maybe second. you need the uh, all the missile upgrades to be able to kill him. Uh, I don't think the missiles are more powerful. I think you just get more of them. But yeah, you might take X missiles. That's what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. You saved the galaxy! Yeah. Woo! Galaxy Complete. saved, everybody! 82%. <laughs> but I did it. Your turn. No. <laughs> get 100%. Very, very good game. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got so much going for it. It's super fun. Uh, once I figured out the jumping mechanism a bit more, um, in terms of I have I was already jumping, and you had to go out of jumping, go to the left, and then go up again, like this. I was going up, 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 
and it wasn't working. So, um, ha, Fitoko says. <laughs> um, so if you haven't played this, highly recommended if you like platformers or uh, games like this. Um, I have the link in the zero page homebrew games list and also the 2023 list. Um, it was called Xanthium. I'm not okay with the colors to mean weapons. Colors to mean weapons. Oh, like in the bottom, like the colors to indicate different types of weapons. I don't, I guess you could do it a different way because you could put an icon. You could put an icon on a different um, line if there's not enough room to put it on there. Um, that, yeah. <laughs> I, obviously, I there's only one alternate weapon in this game, so it's not that bad. If there's like five different weapons and you had to memorize colors, that would be a lot worse. That would be a lot more um, difficult. Um, but since there's only one weapon and white is not the missile, it's pretty easy to memorize. But in general, yeah, I'd rather have some indicator that kind of looks like um, looks like the the weapon that you have. Um, one second. Okay. So we played four games today. Let's go through them. They were Three Point Dash, uh, a very fun basketball game. This computer has the wrong time. It keeps startling me. Oh, because it's Eastern time still. Yeah. I think I man had to manually set it. It wasn't picking it up for some reason. Um, duet. Can't wait to see how that one evolves. Uh, I was getting pretty decent at it, but it was still challenging, which is great for a game. Uh, Cosmic Combat Redux. Great two-player game. It seems like a game... Yep. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, there are limitations in the Atari, obviously, but it seems yep. like a game that you could make random you could have ad hoc random levels for 100%. because as long it's like a timing thing right all you have to do is have enough space for it to happen you figure out little puzzles you, you chop them together. down into the smallest puzzle pieces you can yep. that have the timing correct and then yeah some come in like these two combos can go together this one has to be by itself etc et is that hard to is that like real hard to do on the atari to have random <clears throat> no you could build up like um a set mm -hmm. like set of or a, a list of sets mm -hmm. it's like okay this one by itself these two go together these two to go together this one by itself maybe these three are a pattern and then you just choose from that set mm -hmm. and then you know what you're going to put on the screen um actually it is random just starts with the same seed now ah that's See, cool. thomas is thinking ahead yeah. <laughs> so he can actually build that, that's it. great because it, it gives you like inbuilt randomness yeah it's a, it's yeah it's yeah. good when every time when there's the possibility that every time you play it can be different you know? so all he just all he needs to do is start a timer and it would start in a different seed um and depending on how complex it is he can have you know 256 seeds or 16,000 seeds depending on which lsfr lfsr lfsr he uses and how big it is um so that's really smart like thomas obviously thinks ed for that because if your if your goal is to have a random level why not build in a random level yep. and he's obviously not going to be able to duplicate some of the levels that are on the original game so why not make them all your own it's like okay, I have this these many puzzle pieces mm -hmm. um, that I can use with. Duet hit me. This has great potential for more development. Hundred percent. Duet yep. is awesome. Yep. Sixteen bit random. Okay, excellent. So lots and lots of room there. So what is what does sixteen bit go up to? Eight eight goes up to two fifty five, and sixteen bit is sixty five thousand, I believe. So many levels, you would not notice the randomness of it, right? 65, 536, yeah. Um, yeah, duet, super awesome. Can't wait for like level number and et cetera, et cetera on the screen and score. Uh, Cosmic Combat Redux, really good when you set it to 30 seconds. Um, it's the right amount of playtime. Yep. Um, 
I would think like maybe have best like five to five points even. I think when you're frozen, you're frozen for too long. I think being frozen, right? Like I think ultimately being frozen just for a second is not. More and when than I say enough. a second, I don't actually mean a full <laughs> second. I mean like a split second moment. It disrupts you. I don't. I don't know. Like I haven't played balanced or what have you, but yeah. I. I suspect if if you had players that knew how they were playing, just yeah. being frozen for a second would would be a punishment enough. Because yeah. I was able to freeze you for quite a while, and you weren't able to kind of get out of it. Like when you I, have, you, it's just that you have to wait a long time to get out, and like, like when I'm frozen, it doesn't. It's not oh you froze me, and then it gave me an opportunity to shoot the ball. It's you froze me, and then I have to sit there for a while, and you can, like, perma-freeze me, you know? like Yeah, if you I almost time should, it? You almost shouldn't be able to perma-freeze. It should be short enough that, like, you would unfreeze before the second bullet got there. Yeah, because right now I think it says it's a second and a half, But maybe that's Maybe that's time. not true. Maybe that would make it lame. I don't know, but... A second and a half in a game that lasts 30 seconds yeah, is 15 it's, it's, freezes. It's, right? it's like, why are you frozen for a second and a half? What is supposed to happen? Yeah. By you being frozen yeah. for a second. And I half. think that could go yeah. a lot lower, yeah. like half a second. Yeah. Um, and Xanthium 2600, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, triumph. Yeah, yeah. If he's able to fix the frame drops, or not, I, which results in frame drops, but it's actually a line count issue, yeah. um, it's a masterpiece of a game. Like, put it on cartridge. It's really, really good. Um, but I would th recommend that it gets, maybe you can build in a harder version. Like you don't get as much health back when you shoot something or they take more health when you get hit. Something that makes it a little like a harder version of it. Because that one was my first time playing through it. Did I die once? Maybe I died once. And then the second game, I won. Um... Uh, obviously, I've used the map. I, I don't like mem I can't memorize things, so I have to use a map. No farming. Uh, farming to get rid of farming is super hard. But it, no for a twenty six hundred. But getting rid of farming, yeah, would m solve the first problem you said, which mm -hmm. uh, it was the first time I played it and I didn't die. Well, because yeah. you could farm, and if you couldn't farm, <laughs> yeah, it I would mean, get rid you, of that problem. It, it would solve. It would literally like make it so that you have to do it all right, and yeah. that's kind of the game that it's supposed to be i think and and he's using uh it's a 64k game i'm i didn't look at what and if you need it to be and if you're like if it's too harsh to have to fight all the way through and have enough health to fight the boss say yeah. you could you could have a, a power up at the end that yeah. like lets you have enough health, health to fight the boss if that's your goal you could balance if not, it that you could way just say easy. oh don't get hit so much on the way to the boss <laughs> stop getting hit so much <laughs> why are you hitting yourself um yeah, uh, 64K bank switch scheme. I'm not sure how much RAM that adds on because some things add RAM. And with extra RAM, you could go, you've already killed this guy once. You've gotten the reward. Mm -hmm. No more reward. S set that bit to zero. Yeah. And or, or a timer on it. Yeah, a timer. Like X amount of seconds have to go by. And it resets the whole board. Yeah. And then farming. add a timer to the game to <laughs> Jesus. look you've got your percent complete True. and the other score is how quickly did you do it this that's yeah. a, entirely fair that's speed running yeah in fact you yeah. could you could leave the farming in and, yes. and solve it all by putting a timer and going oh yeah you must have farmed because it took you too long to finish that game <laughs> <laughs> yeah and yeah 100 percent. and that that's a speed run oh sorry it's it's the dinosaur he pushes it it yeah, it makes me mad when I watch the shows back, and that's <laughs> and that's been crooked the whole time. It's like, oh my god, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry ITC about that. It's not just you. It makes me crazy because at the beginning of the show, it's like, oh, it's fine, but then the cat walks by, and he rubs up against things. Or he push, just loves everything. Push, pushes the dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent sprites fault or whichever cat. Um, so is it, it? You remember the uh, tradition? Of, it's a, it's a remembering the last last few rooms means that would things stay dead there because like that seems like the best way is if keeping it dead is if the thing stayed dead too so like if you're remembering the room you cleared the room you don't have to do it again it you it could did, because yep. it does it both ways it keeps you from farming but it also keeps you yes. from the game farming you yes right 
it depends on how hard the game is. Um, some games delete the thing, but then the, the levels seem very empty when you do that. Some of these creatures you couldn't kill as well. So they're always there. Like, you cannot kill them, so there is no respawning of them. Right. Um, but that's not really relevant, because that is the challenge of going through that room, is unkillable. Yeah. Like, the whole challenge in there is that it's not even a monster. It's just an obstacle. A moving, a moving obstacle. deadly yeah, obstacle. Yeah. yeah. Not deadly, but it gets rid of your health. Um, so, yeah, things that permakilled would be fine in this game, because there's enough things you can't kill. But also, they're saying, remember, N game, N or X uh, level. So eventually, they would respawn or whatever. You go back, and it's That'd been be enough fine. games, and they come back, and then it. But it, it, you could still farm, but like especially if there's a timer at the end, mm -hmm. there would be a cost to farming. Yes. Yeah. There's some games as because well. Because you would see, oh yeah, of course, you know, like there are lots of games where if you take your time. Lots of games. If you take <laughs> yes. your time, you can like snipe the bad guys or whatever, and never put yourself in a risky position. Yes. Uh, but to to do it fast, you have to like get up and anyways. Whatever. You have to yeah. put yourself in harm's way. Some games I've played on the twenty six hundred, they remember rooms on either side of you, so you can't just go back and forth and farm. Mm -hmm. It actually is annoying to farm because you have to go way. And that's a the whole round. goal is to make it just slightly annoying enough that you don't do it like, but, uh, but ultimately yeah. if you put a timer on it yes. then you like putting a cost to what you get like that's pretty satisfying because because yeah. it would allow you if you're like me <laughs> you know, very good if you could if you could still farm you could like get to the end of the game but i'm not going to get the score that someone who's good at it can get it because well anyways whatever yeah with with the timer thing you would have to keep track of separate timers but you could do that quite easily with a stack it's like this cre this room and this time then you push onto the stack this room this time you don't pop it off you whatever you go to the bottom of the stack and you check the timer the timer counts down and then that creature would be reset Oh, but and they're talking about, they're just talking about remembering the last N number of rooms. So it remembers five rooms. Oh, okay. And so it doesn't matter with the timer. The timer I'm talking about is the how long did it take you to finish total. Total. Yeah. So there's total many time. ways yeah. to solve this problem if this is a problem. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe this is exactly how they wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. But there are. But this yeah. is the fun part. <laughs> talking about how Talk, it might be done. <laughs> yes, it is actually. I, I love that part. It's like, oh, how can we change the game and make it different? And but it is very good as it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's and, true though. It is valid to say, "Screw you guys! I made the game. <laughs> I'll make it how I want." Hundred percent. That's totally valid. And the game is the game. <laughs> and you could do speed runs on this too. You just have to have your own stopwatch. It's yeah. just not built into the game. And yeah. most most games are not like that. VHZC games are because he starts with a health and timer score sometimes mm. and they're both linked and you get hit oh you're you get less time you go to zero you're dead uh so the health is your timer yes oh, yeah, it okay. doubles as yeah, health yeah, yeah. and timer so at the end of the game you have it's also your score um and the slower you take the less uh, the higher it's going the le less it's going to be right mm -hmm. so it, it works on three different levels as a speed run as your score and as your health it's it's quite compact actually it's really good uh, and that is it for today um what do we have coming up um i mean i there's a bunch of 2600 games being made and i have to catch up um so i've got some listed here that uh lupin 3 legend of zelda final d cheat paul's happy bird uh, when hop the search for planet x grocery game and more are even going to be made in the meantime so grocery make... game i play that in the morning sometimes <laughs> i want that <laughs> <laughs> um and there's some uh, 7800 games i need to catch up on um i've updated the list of stuff that's been released for 2600 but i haven't updated for 7800 and other things uh so i don't know when the next show is going to be because we're still on break right now theoretically <laughs> and uh but it might be another 2600 day um depend it might we'll probably do one next week um to to do another show um thank you dan oh and uh dan's uh a homebrew award homebrew games 
I forget, he's changed the name now. But he bases contest of high score contest based on the winners of the Atari Homebrew Awards. So round one is still on, it's almost done. So make sure you check out that in the Atari Age forums and put in your high score before it's over. So Tanya and I might put in some scores Sunday, maybe Monday, Atari High Brew, Atari, Atari Homebrew High Score Contest. There you go. Um, and I think Space Taxi for the 7800's been released. I'll have to go check that out. Maybe it'll be a 7800 day. Because I've Drone Patrol, Rat Trap. Oh, you guys can't see this. Um, drone Patrol, Rat Trap, ICBM, Game of the Bear Polar Opposites I need to play. Um, for Lynx, I want to play Chase and Circuit Dude. Um, and there's all the 2600 games. A-H-A-S-C for short. Kind of short. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, Master KSI. You're very welcome. It's always fun to play homebrew games. Uh, so we are D-O-N-E done. THC infused beer. This is not a thing I've heard of before. I've, I have not seen beer infused with THC. I always see pop, like pop kind of stuff. Really? But would it have alcohol and THC in it? I've never Presumably. Seen yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I guess Interesting. I'm sure I would. Uh, <laughs> I don't sure. like beer, so I wouldn't be drinking that. Yeah, sadly, I'm you, like you. you do not like beer. <laughs> you do drink it sometimes, though. I can choke it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much. <laughs> if and I have to. I remember people saying when I was younger, they were like, that you know, oh, they get easier to drink. And I, I have <laughs> always thought the opposite. It's like... Each one is harder. Every <laughs> successive, every successive you mean over the, the night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Every successive sip, even every. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, this every, again. Not just the next beer is harder, but every sip is harder than the previous sip because I am reminded. I the last time that I was punished for taking a sip, it was just closer. I remember it better and just like oh oh you ah! <laughs> In in Melbourne at the film festival, they give away free alcohol at events, right? The only thing that is free is wine or beer. And I was like, mm, I hate both. I yeah, really hate is both. Is there some alcohol you do like? No. Okay. But I like thing. I really hate both of those. Like vodka but and I don't hate, I fruit don't... juice is almost neutral because oh, it covers up the vodka, yeah, I the alcohol flavor. The only thing that ever covered up the alcohol flavor was the grapefruit. Grapefruit's really grapefruit. good at it. Yeah. Cranberry's pretty good too. We talked about too. this before. It's like... The bitter note of grapefruit is at the same spot that yes. has the horrible taste of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just generally so, like the only bad. thing that works and it works like like dangerously well. <laughs> I don't mind grapefruit drinks. Yeah, I've had I've had the beer with grapefruit in it. And I'm like, oh, I like that. <laughs> the less, one I, I, I dislike it less. <laughs> the, the one I chose out of those two because I was very thirsty. Uh, well, I could have got pop for free as well, but I chose beer and. It, it's better than wine for me. Mm. You you don't like either of those? Oh, uh, the wine is even worse. Like so, so you much would choose beer, beer as well, yeah. if you had to pick between yeah. the two. Yeah, because the cocktails were like you had to pay for them. They're like fifteen dollars. No bitter for nothing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've seen soaking a gummy in vodka. Does I remember? Does it people... soak it up? It yeah, seems that's... so dense that it wouldn't even. Or do you just put it in the vodka and drink that? <laughs> I've heard of like champagne putting, prosecco. No, it's heard of vodka. putting the booze in like the watermelon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's that would work. Chilean wines. I've yeah, tried I a bunch of stuff. I I don't like wine at all. I just don't like that flavor. White, red doesn't matter. Um. Uh, what other types? Of, I don't like any alcohol. It's just varying degrees of not liking that. Yeah, yeah. I used to drink when I was younger. I would take a cup. And I would fill it half full of whiskey <laughs> oh, and boy. half full of Coke. And then I would chug it gug, 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 as quickly as possible. And you're like, done for the night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's how I view alcohol as well. I, I it's a like, means okay, well, to an end. Everybody else is getting drunk. I'll get drunk too, but I'll do it now. Just get it done. <laughs> it's a means to an end for me, right? I don't drink it because I like the taste. I drink it because, I, because it gets me somewhere. Yeah, Trust is saying he doesn't like anything bitter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like... Bitter is my worst, my least favorite flavor. Yeah. Or taste. What would you call that? 
Like salt, a, sweetie, sweet. It's a taste. Bitter. Yeah, yeah, I think a so. A taste. Yeah. Bitter is at the bottom. But I and and like Savor I probably said this before, but for me. Probably. I didn't drink coffee until I was in my forties. Because <laughs> Why I was would just you like, start eh. something like that. Well, something I was that people are definitely addicted to. You started because, in your forties. Yeah, and I did it for a month, and then I quit because I turned oh, into a zombie. Okay. And I was like, well, oh, there was no net benefit. But because there are all these things that I hated when I was a kid, and I was like, well, maybe I should give some of them a try. <laughs> and I was like, and coffee was one of the ones that I did overcome really quickly. But you didn't try nicotine, too. No, but I didn't not use nicotine because I hated it. I didn't because it was... Uh, I, addictive. I wasn't... I didn't... And I didn't have any reason. I, I didn't like it, but I wasn't yeah. like. But yeah. but I like the it smell. Just seemed of like coffee. a bad idea. Like coffee yeah. smells really good. So and at least there's got, something to it. Once uh, like the with coffee, I overcame it pretty quick. Like yeah. shockingly quick. To liking it. To to being from I don't like this to neutral to I like it. Oh wow. Was like shocking. Most of the things I didn't overcome, and I still dislike. Yeah. But like coffee was yeah. yeah. Actually, the funny thing is. It's sour coffee. There's two types of coffee, from my perspective. There's yeah. coffee that's too sour and coffee that's too bitter. And there's stuff in the middle that's <laughs> really good. Don't like either of those tastes. Yeah. And well. sour coffee is the worst. <laughs> so that's like been sitting but, there for a while. But I only see sour coffee. I only get sour coffee at places that are like getting you the special coffee. So obviously, uh, I think it's sour, but other people like it. Mm. Right? So it's just the difference yeah. of taste. Which is yeah. not surprising. Bitter is the worst. But I like sour candies, but it's not the same sour type of sour. Is wine bitter? Because it's the it's definitely the alcohol part it's of it that, so that hits me. so strong, yeah. the wine. I'm just like, Bleh. I don't know what I, I, I would describe wine. It's got its own... I think I hate it too quickly to realize it might be bitter. <laughs> I'd probably, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably hate it for being bitter as well. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. THC, on the other hand? Well, let's just say we're in Canada, so... <laughs> It's all good here. It's all good here. Um, thanks for hanging out with us and listening to us blab on about beer Stuff. and wine. <laughs> we used to do a, a show many we years to, ago. We used to do a just, show just that about video games, and then it became yeah, <laughs> just about blabbing on. Yeah, no, like twenty five yeah. years ago, we we did shows, radio yeah. shows. That it was just about blabbing. We yeah. just have a list of topics, All and we'd blabbing. run through the topics, and then we go. If we, it's over. If we were able to stay on the topics, then <laughs> yeah, we would well, blab we on the topics. Yeah, yeah. But we we would have a list that we should go back to. But usually, we would diverge into nonsense. It's good times. Good, good times. times. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're done. Thanks for hanging out with us. Ivory Tower Collections. Chal <laughs> Sadani <laughs> Mal. <laughs> R7E Thrust. Thank you for your awesome new game. As always, they're amazing. Um, this one is amazing as well. Master, KSI, Fitoko, um, BR Pocock, Dan, AVC. Uh, going up the list. No, didn't miss any. VVG Double Down. Uh, uh, I do need to answer your uh, message. Sorry, I've been like t catching up and I'm still very far behind with absolutely everything in my life right now. Uh, Gamma Dev, Spindly1970, um, oh, I think that might, Dianoid, the top. And that's it that I could scroll back to anyway. I'm just copying ideas, but they're great ideas. <laughs> And it's awesome. They're available on the 2600, so we can play them. Yep. Uh, so we're done for now. We'll probably have another show. Well, it won't be Monday. Maybe Sunday or Tuesday, maybe even. Um, so just keep checking um, social media and uh, the Atari Age forums, and you'll see when we schedule it for. So thanks for hanging out with us today, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.